Welcome to Everyone's a Millionaire podcast where we explore the journeys, strategies, and insights of those who've hit it big. Today, let's dive right into the best tips from our guest, Dustin. How did you balance or do you balance risk and reward Mm -hmm. when making your investment decisions on the path to becoming a millionaire? So did you or do you, however you want to word that's totally fine. Basic point though is how do you typically balance risk and reward? Because as you know, whenever you get rewarded, you've taken some risk and not all yeah. risk plays out with reward. Yeah. The the interesting thing is, you know, the risk, and this kind of goes back to uh, you and I, what we do in holding real estate is the risk. It's not that risky. It's actually a very boring business. And I think that's how I manage risk and reward is the rewards huge when the risk is boring. You just have to play it out and be consistent. And it's not sexy. It's not exciting. It's really boring. But if you look at any of the ultra, ultra success out there, the people who have gotten the reward, they're really boring. It's not the (laughs) crypto people overnight. It's not the whatever it is. It's really boring, boring basics. Um, So, and, you know, we, we got caught up in that, you know, the sexy things and things like that. And it's, I'm almost pumping the brakes big time on that and just going ultra, ultra boring. I agree. I agree. I concur, man. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Anytime that I've thought I was going to make it, make it overnight, I lost all my money on those investments. I know. Right. Yeah. (laughs) So it's the the slow play that typically is what pays, but it's also, as you said, less risky. So again, amazing answer. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, 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 oh